Lin Chan and Dimi Chan play games. Hello and welcome back, everyone. Link has returned from the, the clutches of death. Clutches of death? To bring you an interesting Topic Thursday. Topic Thursday? Today. Today. On this wonderful Thursday. Wonderful Thursday. I'm a nincompoop. I'm an nincompoop. You're an nincompoop. No, no, you said it. But you, I repeat it after you. I repeat it after you. You repeat it after me? I repeat it after you. <laughs> so, yeah, today we're going to be talking about uh, unconventional franchises. Franchising. Because, like... Why not? Why not? Uh, so, specifically, we were just, like, wondering how many of the stores, like, around us were franchises when we weren't expecting them to uh -huh. be. Yep. So we we decided why not do a little research on that and know for sure. Why not? Let's do it. Let me kill this thing first. Very annoying yet. Very annoying. Yay, it's dead. Yay, it's dead. It won't even let me have its brand. Why are you letting my honey have its what his way? Now we got a a nice waterfall. In any waterfall. case, franchises. So specifically, a franchise is a company uh, that it's not like a, a movie franchise. That's not the kind of franchise we're talking about. Uh, we're talking about franchises where we have a company, company. Uh, that. <laughs> I'm distracted. Please don't do that. Sorry, I, I'm like looking on Instagram and there's a gigantic pizza that's the size of like a 10 inch diameter table or 10 feet. I don't know, but I'm starving now. Pizza sounds good. Pizza uh, does sound so, good. So, like, for instance, most pizza companies are franchises. Yep. So are gas stations. So are Starbucks. So pretty much everything you see in real life is more or less could be a franchise. So, a like, specifically, a franchise is a company that uh, does not necessarily own any of the locations. Uh, that it has like whenever you see a Starbucks for instance Starbucks doesn't own any of those locations all they own is the name the name the and brand the the branding the uniforms and the drinks the that are being served the, the products. products exactly uh, so this is uh, different than a corporation which would own like every individual thing like Apple owns its Apple stores Mm -hmm. uh, they don't ask someone to, hey, like, do you want to open an Apple store? Uh, that's not how that works. And neither does, like, Target is another corporation. So Target owns all its big stores. Oh. So they're in charge of running them. There's a, there's a way, I guess, more or less, you can tell whether something is a franchise or not is by, I guess, sort of based on their customer service mm -hmm. skills in a way. Mm -hmm. Like all franchises, you can go from one store to another and you'll be treated more or less very different. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, some places can have like the best drink. Some places have like a really their own version of the drink. Mm -hmm. Even though it's the same products, but they it's their own version. Or they may treat you better or they may treat you worse at certain location, even though it's the same brand. Mm -hmm. You know, but when it's like, I feel like when it's a corporation, more or less, they're under the same guideline. Mm -hmm. And so they're be better in a way. Mm -hmm. they, they definitely pay more attention yeah. to treating you. Yeah. And it's, it's typically not run by some random. Yeah. So like, if you want, you have money, you can go out to Starbucks and tell them right now, I want to be a part of your... Uh, yeah, I want to I want to make a Starbucks my own. Yeah, basically. and then you go find the location and whatever and they supplied everything for you down to the marketing, mm -hmm. down to flyers that you need, everything. All you need to do is pay them. <laughs> and give them the money. Oh yeah, all you need to do is give them the money, pay them and in the end they share a profit of what you sell. Mm -hmm. You know, but they do everything for you. Like yeah. down to the products, the you know, all you need to do is talk to the the big honcho of the corporation, and they'll take care of everything for you, you know. 
but you you hire the people and everything else mm -hmm. so yeah you're the boss yeah and that's typically how they sell to you it's like you're your own boss yeah so i know in, in like in in middle school or when i was younger going through school they're always like oh you need to study hard you need to get good grades so you can go to college or else you're gonna be spending the rest of your life flipping burgers at a mcdonald but now hey if you got money you can be the owner of that mcdonald shop <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's one way to think about it um so like we were curious like what would be some unconventional franchises that do exist that we don't think of mm-hmm uh, and so I, I did some like research like typically when you think of a franchise you think of like McDonald's or Burger King fast yeah, food restaurant That's a franchise. Uh, that is not most of the franchises so uh, A lot of them are, are restaurants like McDonald's and well, how did franchise become a franchise you were telling oh, yeah, me yeah, about yeah. so like the whole concept of a franchise like in the US was not really a thing until um, until World War Two, like after World War Two, uh, but it's the concept as a whole is older. So uh, I believe uh, churches used to franchise out the responsibility uh, to collect taxes in like various regions. Churches or states? Churches. Oh right, because, because back the then they church, run. Church they was run the state. The, yeah, they run the state. Oh. I opened up the, the thing. So uh, what what would happen is, oh, what would happen is that uh, the churches would franchise out the responsibility to collect taxes, uh, and then the people that were collecting the taxes they would keep a cut, essentially, much like how how a franchise works nowadays you know mm -hmm. uh and you actually see remnants of this in like a uh, state uh state uh government where you have a franchise tax board and if you're like a corporation or something that's who you pay to to uh, pay your taxes mm -hmm. like if you're a corporation you pay your taxes to the franchise tax board of california for instance uh and it's typically not dependent on how much money uh the corporation makes uh and it's more dependent on does this count as a waterfall do you think i can swim off of it i don't think so uh and it instead depends on like if you're a cor if you're doing business you owe the state 800 dollars. So that's just the way it is yeah uh, and that's a franchise so it's tax just board. a set fee that they make you pay mm -hmm. and th that's pretty much all that there is from like the the remnants of of like a franchise system uh from back then nowadays it's usually all corporations uh willing to um willing to make money in like a different way and you have lots of them like uh, anytime you see like a ups location that is a franchise anytime you see like an ace hardware that is a franchise Anytime that you see, um, like, th there's a variety of different kinds, too. Like, uh, any real estate or tax prep place, like Remax or H&R uh, Block, uh, those are franchises as well. Like, these are things that you don't necessarily consider to usually be a franchise in the typical sense, you know? And then so there's salons... Uh, like supercuts, that's a franchise. Uh, educational programs like the Mathnasium. I don't know if you've ever seen that. There's one near us, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, that's a franchise, uh, which like brings up the question of like how how do you make a franchise out of something like that if you're just hiring teachers? But they they probably have a a program and a curriculum that they they ask people to follow, and that's how they do it. You know. Uh, then, uh, I'm trying to think of like what other ones do I remember? Uh, then you have uh, like fitness centers; those are franchises. Hotels, like Hilton, that's a franchise. Uh, 
they're like we were like i think what brought up this conversation was if like Enter- enterprise car rental was a franchise like between the two of us remember i don't think that was the the spark of this conversation uh well in any case like hertz is a franchise enterprise is not um there's a lot of cleaning uh, services that are franchises uh and then gas stations are kind of uh most gas stations are actually franchises uh but it's not the gas station itself in most cases it is the mini mart that they're associated with uh oddly enough uh that makes that is the franchise itself so uh what people do is they have like a they 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 want to have like an am pm and no link where are you going they want to have an AM PM, uh, and uh, with the AM PM, they get a uh, they get a um, the gas station. The that gas goes station with it. that goes with it, an Arco, because AM PM and Arco are the same company. Liquor stores are also uh, um, franchise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of them are donut shops. Yeah. Too, are other typical like the mom and pop don- donut shops that you typically think of. Yeah, Dunkin' those, Donuts is those, also. Yeah, those are franchises. And uh, and often enough, they're like smaller franchises than than others. Like the mom and pop ones are typically like sh- small, like ten shop maximum franchises. Mm-hmm. Whereas like Dunkin' Donuts is like three hundred or whatever. It's like huge, which is why I guess you don't see them. Well, I, you'd assume you'd see them more if it was a franchise. What, Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, like it's, it's not, most of an East Coast it's thing. It's not even good, and it's so pricey. And the fact that, like, they don't display the donuts right in front of you makes it seem, like, very unwelcoming. Mm-hmm. Like, they freaking put it all the way in the back behind the counter. How are you supposed to see from there? Mm-hmm. You know? We, we got a, a, a gift card once, so we went there to use that gift card. They were not happy, man. The girl in the front. Like, no, the family. Yeah, th- they were very rude, actually. Yeah. Uh, that was that one time we went to Dunkin' Donuts on the and last time. we'll probably ever, never go again. We're yeah. not a Dunkin' Donuts fan. We're a Krispy Kreme fan. Krispy Kreme is delicious. And I don't believe it's a franchise. I love Krispy Kreme mm. because it's so fresh. Like, as you were saying before, or just the that, glaze. that customer service part of it. Yeah is like something that you typically don't get at um because every place is different Mm -hmm. like i remember when i was working in san diego i was working at a restaurant right next door to a to a subway and funny thing is i applied for that subway too and they did not hire me but I got a job at a different restaurant right next to it. Mm-hmm. And this boss turned out to be so much better. And we're still friends. Like, he was sort of like my dad. Like, he treated me like family, you know. But this the, the owner of the subway was such an asshole that there was this girl who was working there. And uh, her husband was working over at this restaurant with me. And she was working over at Subway. And her... Um, while she was at work, she got a phone call that her dad had just passed away at the hospital somewhere. Mm-hmm. Like her dad just passed away and she needs to go see him. And the, this asshole of an owner would not let her go yeah. saying that she can't just walk out. And then she was like crying and all that. And she's like, but my dad just passed away. Like I need to go say goodbye to him or he's about to pass away or something like that. Like, I need to go see my dad one last time. And this asshole, the owner, would, no matter what, would not let her go. And, but I feel like she was a weak person to begin with. Like, weak-minded, I guess, in a way. Mm-hmm. Like, if my dad just passed away, I'm going to walk out of there no matter who you are or what you say to me. Mm-hmm. You know? But she was, like, there crying and saying how he doesn't let her go. It's like, dude, just go. Yeah. You know? No need to discuss it at that point. Yeah, like, this really is a family emergency. Like, someone someone freaking just died here, okay? And 
I think by even like even if it's not by law, but by law they can't just keep you. You know, it's a it's a real real emergency. But mm-hmm. even if it's not by law, it's like come on, have some、uh, moral decency. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So this is my experience with like a, a subway, and that's what, therefore that's why I feel like that's why I said like you. You can tell the difference when it's a, a franchise because often they don't give a shit.、Mm-hmm. Because if they don't do well, they still have the big corporation backing them up because they're at Subway. Who doesn't know about Subway?、Mm-hmm. You know. Yep. Oh well, we'll continue on this topic next time、Maybe. as we open this chest of franchises. Bye bye. Bye bye. Le enchanté mi chale. Enchanté, enchanté, mi chan. Le enchanté, mi chan. Le enchanté, le enchanté, mi chan, chan.